Hello and welcome to my new series. This is Stoking the Furnace, blasting Port Talbot Town FC into Welsh footballing history. Yep, it's finally here. My new series on my channel, my second series on my channel, which will run alongside, of course, kicking off with Blackburn Rovers FC. And as you can see, it is with Port Talbot Town FC. Now, you're probably wondering why... Why I chose Port Talbot Town FC? What, what drew me to, to Port Talbot FC? Well, as you may know, I'm quarter Welsh, and I am a very keen Swansea supporter. They're my the only club for me, basically, because my dad is a Swansea fan, and I'm a Swansea fan, so yeah. Um, and Port Talbot is obviously very close to Swansea, and whenever we go down to Swansea, I always see Port Talbot, and I see the Tata still works, and I thought... You know what? Why not? Do they have a football team? Which I know that they did because I've seen them on past FMs. And I thought, why why not play as them? Because, you know what? They're, they, well, I've looked at them now, of course. They look like a good team. And they're Welsh. So what could go wrong, really? You know, it's, this series is going to be a bit more laid back than all my other series I've done. Um... And I'm going to have a different format, which I'll show in a minute, or tell you in a, in a minute. But, yeah. And the reason why I went with the title of This Is oh, the Stoking the Furnace is because I thought it would be a nice link to the Tata Still Works, which I know lots of people have lost their jobs, sadly, but let's not politicise this. But I thought it would be a good name as kind of like regenerating Port Talbot as a footballing, footballing town. Um, and then I thought blasting Port Talbot into Welsh footballing history because that's what we're going to do, of course. Now, the aim of this series is to actually win all the domestic trophies we can in one season. And then I shall finish. That That is my goal. I need to win all of the Welsh domestic competitions or the ones that I can win. And then I will end the series there. I, I won't be going for European glory unless unless I go for European glory before I get the... The, all the domestics, but I just want this to be, you know, a laid back, try and win all the trophies we can, or all the domestic trophies we can in one season. So, let me just show you the ones that we need to win. Of course, we need to win the Daff Abet Welsh Premier League, which, as you'll see as I show you the history of Port Talbot, they have never won. We need to win the JD Welsh Cup. Yep. I don't think they've won it. Um, We need to win... The World Cup? No, no, it's not the FIFA World Cup. It's it's a Welsh Welsh. It's a Welsh Welsh. It's a Welsh World Cup, um, and that those are the three trophies we need to win, in a row. So, or in in one season. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to do that. Um, so let's have a look at or a quick run over. Oh, let's not run over. Let's have a quick look at the history of Port Talbot. So Port Talbot Town were founded in 1901. Yes, um, they play in the Welsh Premier League. They are a semi-professional team. They have a national reputation. They have okay finances, and they uh, have a, uh, you know they play at the Gen Queep Stadium in Port Talbot, which is a six thousand capacity stadium that has a grass surface. Um, they are of course in Port Tal well, they in Port Talbot, of course. Um, they they own the club or they own the stadium, should I say? Uh, let's have a look at their profile. They are affiliated with Swansea, interesting enough, which we'll, you'll see. We have loaned some players out from Swansea, as you'll see in a minute. Um, and that's they've, they've they've won nothing. They have won nothing of note on Football Manager, or not just on Football Manager, but they nothing that Football Manager seems to recognise. Uh, they The highest they've they've done is third in the league, I think. Yeah, I think that's third. I mean, they finished reasonably high during the middle 2000s, but not, not that well, I guess. Um, of course, in Wales, rugby is the main sport, so Port Talbot Town is probably not as well supported as, I can't remember the rugby team in, in Port Talbot, but not as well supported as them. But hopefully we can turn that round and we can actually turn it into a very well supported club and get them into Welsh history. Um, 
so let's have a look at wait, wait, there's any landmarks uh, records overview oh, ah, don't want to go in squad yeah where are you going I'm just going mad <laughs> landmark oh, gone there records overall apparently most league goals for the club is Martin Rose who is still currently a player yeah you can just have a look at this by yourself if you want <laughs> um, so let's have a look at the players we have got. Now you, I'll show you the transfers after this as well. Actually, I need to show you the new schedule. So today we'll be playing Bala in the Welsh Premier League, but I'm going to go with a new structure of format in my videos. I'm going to do a video when we reach the split point of the league. That is when we shall, I shall come back to you. And any other cup competition finals I shall show as well so it's going to be no you won't see a lot of live comms but you'll get to see probably say three minimum a season and then you'll see any cup game any cup finals you'll see as well so that's how the new format will go so you have one at the start of the season one in the middle of the season one at the last game of the season oh yeah so you'll see one at the start one at the the, the new the, the first game after the split the the, fir the last game of the season and any cup finals so yes, that's a new structure. So let's have a look at the squad. I've been waffling on already. Steve Can is our number one goalkeeper. He's all right for this level. I think we, there are better keepers out there. But seeing that he's he was there, I thought you know we might as well keep him. He's got good reflexes. He's got quite he's quite eccentric, but that's uh, expected at this level. So yeah, that's Steve Can. He's already played for the club last season. Our second keeper is Connor, Connor, Connor Fenton, McFenton, who is probably not as good as Can, so he'll do backup of course, and he's only 19, so he's got a lot of room to develop, he played last season and the season before, so he looks like he's probably come through the, the youth system, and he's, he played three times last season, is he, he was born in Swansea, so yeah, he looks alright, got alright potential, three and a half, two and a half stars, with a few, I think, three and a half black stars. So that's that. Or oh, one and a half black stars on top of his two and a half stars. Um, Lee DeVault is a apparently a very a legend at the club, I guess you could say. He's 34 years old. He's actually got two under-21 caps for Wales. And he used to play for Swansea, and he actually played for Swansea. But most, he spent most of his career at Port Talbot. And I think, how many games? I can't work it out, but it's quite a lot of games he's played... I, I, I want to say f over 200 games he's played, which is brilliant, really. He's only scored th three goals in league games, I'm guessing. So, but he's good. We had a, actually had a testimonial. He's very good. Although they don't rate him, of course, but I don't know why they don't rate him. You know, he's got like crossing of eight, passing seven, tackling eight, marking seven, heading seven. Got all right. Got teamwork, good le leadership, good concentration, work rate. Natural finish. He's a very good player at this level, but I don't know why they don't rate him. Um, then we got Craig Jones, who is our backup right back. He's there's not a lot really to talk about him. He's been playing for Port Talbot on and off really. Went to Australia for a bit, but yeah, not a lot you can say about Mr. Craig Jones here. Um, then we come to Alan Tate, a former Swansea favourite. Now, uh, sorry, I just clapped. Um, I'm very uh, I'm very happy that they've actually got Alan Tate. He's he's one of my one of well, he was one of my play, favorite not favorite players but one of my players I liked when we when he was at Swansea. Um, he used to call him Donkey because he used to be a bit slow. I mean pace of eight, acceleration of nine. I wouldn't say he was my favorite player, but he was. I like all the players of course, but he was up there with one of the some of my favorites. And of course, he had a very long career at Swansea. Only really ever played for Swansea until recently, and in his early days when he played for. Antwerp seven times, but yeah, he's been like Leeds, Yeovil, Aberdeen, Crew on loan, but now he's looks like he's settled in down, he's staying down in South Wales, and he's here. Great player for this level, probably one of the best in the league. So hopefully we can keep it next season. Um, then we are we have our left back, James Parry, not very good, not a lot to talk about. Played for Risca last season, oh, the season before, and then we signed him last season, twenty one games. Yeah, that's not all you can say about him. Um, one of our new signings, Mike Williams, I signed from... 
do no, I can't, I can't pronounce that, sorry, I try, I try, he hasn't actually played any games for them, but I signed him, he's got league experience, and he's got lower league experience, so he should be a great player, he hasn't performed well in pre-season, but hopefully he can do well, and he's got 14 under 21 caps, um, another one of our signings is Bruno Fernandes, the Guinea, Guinean Bissau player, 17 caps for them and two goals, which is brilliant, he's got experience in Portugal, Bulgaria, more Portugal, Romania, Cyprus, and has even played for England, or not play, played in England for Workington in the Van Arumanolf. And he's last season he played for Kiffin Druids in Wales, where he played 29 times. He looks like a good player. He's been he scored five goals in his career, but that's we don't don't look at. Why did I even say that? Um, he looks very good. I think he's he's won the Romanian first division, which is is it the top division? I think it's a top division. Yes, it is. I think because FC Stour are there, so yeah. That's, I guess it is. But yeah, he's a very good player with lots of experiences. I mean, good heading, good marking, good tackling, good tournament, termination. He's just an all-around good player. Um, ben Jones. Oh, is that Ben Jones? Yeah. Ben Jones, who is on loan from Swansea, is another very good centre-back with lots of potential. Sadly, we won't be able to probably see that potential out at this club. But he looks like a good player. He did, had a good pre-season and he's on loan from Swansea. Yeah, not a lot we can say about that. We don't have to pay him any wages here at the club. But yeah, Ben Jones, one of my signings as well. Paul Fowler, I think he's an ex-Kamarthen player. Yeah, ex-Kamarthen player, played, signed this season. Very good player. Well, not very good, but he's a solid player and he'll be playing in the midfield as a backup, which is good. He's had an alright pre-season, 30 years old, and I think he'll do the job. I think he's a, I think he's a really a, um, a Kamarthen man at heart. Um, then we have... One of my another one of my signings, Jamie Trolley, who I actually played with, not played with. Um, he was actually on one of my series, not series, past series, but one of my football man. I play, he was playing with my players, and he he was at Col Colwyn Bay when last season. I think it must have been oh, the season before that. So he hasn't played for a year, but we've got him on a phrase amateur. I think is it amateur? He's a amateur contract. He is an amateur, and he's a very good player. Played in the league. Yeah, just a very good player. They've somebody even bought him for 20k. Um, Jamie Lantham. A very good young player, which actually I saw the other day. I was on Twitter, and I found out that Jamie Lant Lantham has actually signed for Port Talbot this season. And I've signed him this season as well. He's a very good player with lots of potential. Um, four star with one black star potential. So he's, he's only 18, and he's only going to start in our midfield. Um, then we have Kieran Lewis, not a lot to talk about, 22, got tiny, he's got two and a half star potential, not very good in my aspects, played last season, scored four goals in 29 games, but he's alright, might get a few games, but won't be a starter. Um, another one of the Swansea loanies is Anjan Maric, the Swedish 18 year old, he was actually worth 66k, I'm pretty sure he's one of the highest valued players in the league, great player, three stars rated though, but four stars potential and one black stop on top of that he's just brilliant for this level he played a bit in like that the second tier must be the second tier or in sweden and he hasn't made a swansea debut but he looks very good uh liam mccreesh who is apparently a very good player for um port Talbot in real life he's had a good pre-season got lots of good mentors Apparently he's a very good ball winning midfielder, but I, I see him as more of an attacking midfielder by the looks of his um, career stats. He went. He also went to Australia, but he, he likes it apparently down in Wales. And he's played very well for Port Talbot in the past. He's a, kind of a played for Athlone, Lido, Haverwood West, Carmarthen. But he's found his way back in last season. He scored six goals in 27 games. Curtis March, another Swansea reject, I guess you could say. Very good for this level. Four and a half stars, five star potential. Hopefully we'll keep him next season, but he's only contracted to the end of the season. Never played any professional games, but he played for Cardiff. Ugh. <laughs> but yes, yeah, a very good player, and hopefully we can keep him. Uh, so I'm just speeding up now. James Loveridge, another Swansea reject. Five star and five star potential. Probably one of the best players in the league except Tate. Pace 15, and I'm going to utilise that a lot. He's played for Newport County in the Skybet League 2, and he's played for MK Dons in Skybet League 1 for seven games. So you can't go wrong. He is brilliant in my eyes, and he's had a brilliant preseason, as you can see there. Um, then we come to some more... Chris Jones, who was here at the club before, pace 13, he's a bit like a Loveridge, but less talented, he's got one under 21 cap, 
well, not less talented, but you know, he's played for Swansea seven times when they were in League One, and he's been bouncing around. I mean, he played for Cambridge and then Vanarama National and the and for Grimsby in League Two. But he's been and he played for Gloucester a few seasons ago in the Vanarama North, and he's played one played 19 games and scored one goal but yes he played for TNS he played for Neath and now he's for us playing for us he played 12 games last season and hopefully he can be an impact on the off the bench I think I was about to say Curtis March has no youth caps that James Loveridge actually has six youth caps and four goals Lucrish no Maverick no okay so Jay Bowen is my another one of my signings from Cardiff, sad, or not from Cardiff, but he was on a free, and he'll be back up to Curtis March. Very good player, good potential, four star potential, and one black star and three car, three star current ability. He looks very good, and not a lot to say about him. Amateur, I think, yep, amateur. So yeah, that that's Jay Brown. Um, Martin Rose is our main striker. He's a bit of a target man. I mean, doesn't have a good strength, but apparently his best is as a target man. So we'll be playing him as a target man. He's only two and a one and a half star and one and a half star potential. A one and a half current ability and one and a half potential ability. He's 31 years old, but he has scored loads of goals for the club. If I actually work it out, 21 minus minus 136. Oh, you make me do maths in my head. You probably worked it out by now. Oh, 15. Ah, 15. 115. I want to say 115. If I'm wrong, correct me. But that's 115 goals, I think, in round, round about the Welsh leagues. Is that 115? Is it? Yes, it is. 115. And so he'll be playing as target man. Yeah, he's got 115 goals for Paul Tolbert. Yeah, pretty good. And he's of course the highest cap player apparently. And then, oh no, he's no, he's the highest scoring player. And then Gethin. Hill is another Cardiff reject who we've got as a backup target man. He's a bit, I would say he's a bit more of a target man than Hill himself, is it, I don't know, Rose himself, Martin Rose himself, but he's got two star current ability and three star potential ability with one black star on top of that. So he looks like a good player and he's also an, an amateur contract. So that's the team. Yes. I mean, just did a check if he was, of, of, if Martin Rose was the overall um, top goal scorer yes most league goals for the club 115 Martin Rose and most league appearances was Lee John but we don't know but who Lee John is I don't know who Lee John is so that comes that that those were my chance well, let's have a look at my transfers all the players you saw then I said there were transfers are there and then I let go of some players like you don't really need to know Joe Jones actually is a very good centre back with good potential with Three and a half star potential and one added star off of that. So he looks like a very good player. The potential player is only 19 and he looks like he's going to be a good centre back. But yeah, otherwise, just some useless players like Jordan Langley went to Goitri. Joseph Clark went on a free. Matthew Long went to Goitri United. Kostai Joyjevsky went to Karasu. I mean, he looked alright, but he was never going to make it in his first team. Nicky Parvin went to Porth Madog, never really looked like he was going to get to the team. And then Joe Jones went to Flint Town on loan. So that's that. Um, now let's go to my inbox, and I have a my first press conference. Um, this this episode is going to be a bit longer than all the rest. Otherwise, usually they're going to be shorter than this. Um, many pundits and bookmakers have been tipping you your Port Talbot team to win the Welsh Premier League. What do you think your uh, think are the chances of this um i think we've got a good chance if we can be consistent and avoid injuries of key players yes looking at the port talbot sword many are suggesting that you need to strengthen in some key areas do you agree with that spending is necessary um i'm happy with the club uh, this uh, the i have uh, i'm happy what i'm happy with what i have at my disposal and i'm bearing any departures i can't see any new arrivals um, elsewhere, the New Saints face Haverford West. We'll be looking an early, uh, who will and will be looking to get an early uh, up early and oh, they, I'm just not reading them. Um, they're a quality seed team and you know, amongst the contenders. Yes, um, I don't really want to uh, discuss our chances at this time. Uh, many pundits claim that the 
yeah, we need to, given the, uh, it's fair to say, hopefully we can avoid too many injuries pro problems by looking after our players properly. Yep. Oh, come on, let me, just let me go. Let me go. You've had the pre-season to prepare your team and all that's left is to kick off the campaign. Are you confident that your team are ready? Um, we had a great pre-season and fully prepared. It's great to finally get this on the way. I think performances in the first few games will shape that. Um, I, yeah, we're looking good. Uh, I think you're very strong. Okay, yeah, good. That's done. Um, pre-season we played one, two, three, four, five games. We beat Hereford United 3-0. Those were the scorers uh, away. Uh, we beat East. We lost to Eastley one 0 at home. No scorers. We beat Taunton five two away. Those were the scorers. Curtis March. Yep, eighty fourth. Um, my stake away. We beat them four one. Those were the scorers. West End, who should be in the Premier League really, but they couldn't because stadium wise, I think it was something like that. We were Swansea team. We beat them three one at home. Those are scorers, and then we had a default testimonial against Carmarthen at home, where we won three one, and those were the scorers. So yes, now let's continue. <laughs> this is gonna be a long episode, I can tell. I'm sorry, I'm very very sorry. <laughs> well, if you're keeping listening, that's good. And don't forget to leave a like. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe. I'm not. I'm actually take that back. Don't like it. If you if you like it, like it. But if you don't like it, don't like it. <laughs> Um, because I don't like telling people to if they want to subscribe, subscribe because I feel quite quite we say up myself telling people to subscribe. But if you do, please do. <laughs> don't not subscribe if that makes any sense. Anyways, I'm getting off track as I always do. Oh, come on, let's get to the game. I wanna I wanna play Bala Bala at home and who are looking good actually. Apparently they've got a good team and they've been steadily moving up. They've got lots of English players. Lots of English players, and by the looks of it, some good English players. Anyways, match preview. They're playing apparently a 4-2-3-1 with Ellis Bellamy, who I think is actually the son of Craig Bellamy. He is. That's interesting. <laughs> interesting fact. Um, elsewhere in the Premier League, I think Bangor and Real, or Bangor City and Real, drew 1-1. So, this is the team and the tactic I shall be going with. I'm going with a 4-3-2-1, they call it, or a 4-3-3 asymmetric, asymmetric, asymmetric AM bracket CL tactic with a control mentality, flexible team shape, and these instructions I'm going to go control, of course. Play out defence, retain position, use tighter marking, get stuck in, play fairly narrow, and have a normal defensive line. So those are those. I don't think there's any player instructions. No, I didn't set any player instructions. Yeah, uh, corners are like that. Set piece takers are there. There, you can see that if you want. You can pause it if you want. And let's summit the team. Hopefully, we shall win today. Check everything is in order. 2D classic, and that seems all right. I'll just do the between highlights. We. I can't look beyond Port Talbot for this match. They have enough quality to see off the challenge of Bala. We're Evans' favourite. Draw is 11-5. Bala is 11-5. Current manager, blah, 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 blah. Apparently, we have... Alan Tate is a spear and centre-back. Performs key duties at the heart of the Port Talbot defence. Key man is Alan Tate. And there's is Ashley Morris, who is, again... He's a goalkeeper, and he looks very good for this level. He's only ever played in the Welsh Division... Oh, not Welsh Division, but he played in for the Southern Premier League for Meath, Tidville, or Merthyr, and for the Welsh... Premier League, so he looks pretty, pretty good actually. Anyways, with no further ado, we shall kick off the first game of the series. Oh, never mind. Uh, we don't want to risk him. Okay, they're playing four, two, three, one. Opposition instructions. I'll let Mark Lockwood do that, and I'm going to give the overall team talk. Come on, lads, we're favourites out here, so let's see what we can do. I think there's a lot more to come from you. I think there's a lot more to come from you, and I think there's a lot more to come from you. And I think I've got what you think I've got what it takes. So now, of no further ado, let's kick off the first game of the season and the first game of the series. So we kick off, of course. We I've made the pitch longer because I think it will suit our playing style. So Loveridge has the ball and he's just played it out. Well, brilliant start, Loveridge. I mean, I like your effort. I'm just gonna move that over there because we're gonna obviously score loads of goals at that end, and we want to see them. Parry. Come on. Can he find the pass? He does. He finds March in a lot of space. He finds Loveridge in a lot of space. Can he get past his man? He does. Oh, he doesn't, but he gets another chance. He finds March in the box. He tries a shot, and Morris is there to save it, sadly. Ugh. 
Good start, good start. Huh, we've had the first shot on target, of course. Oh, non, yeah. And first shot and first shot on target. Devault. Crosses it in. March is there again. Gets tackled, but it comes back out to Trolley. To Marich. To Loveridge. Oh, unlucky. Oh, this leaves us good opportunities to actually go for the rolls. So, Martin Rose is a target man. Loveridge is a winger on attack. Rose is a target man on attack. Loveridge is a winger on attack. Curtis March is a uh, advanced playmaker on support. Um... Adnan Maric is a central defensive, uh, central midfielder on defend. Lantham is a central midfielder on support. Trolley is a deep line playmaker on defend. Parry is a full back on support. Tate is a centre back on support. Ben, jo or ben Jones is a centre back on support. Devault is a full back on support. And Can is a, just a regular goalkeeper on defend. Anyways, that's that. Let's continue. So we had a good start. Connolly with a free kick. Oh, that was a good free kick. And Can manages to save it though, which is good. Let's <sighs> so hopefully we can get the first goal though. Uh, apparently our tackling, tackling hasn't been that good. Let's just move that over there. Murtag to parry, intercepts, but Roberts is there again. Parkinson, not again, but Rob Roberts finds Lunt to Connolly. Finds Valentine. He's being pressured by March, but he gets finds Lunt, who finds Murta to Jones, who finds Parkinson. Oh, good passing around here from Bella. Connolly. Connol Connolly, is it Connolly? Valentin. Connolly. 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 I think it's Connolly. Ellis Bellamy has a chance there, but he has a shot and it just falls straight into the hands of Can. I'm going to keep on moving that, I know. It's annoying because I didn't know a long pitch would do such a thing as to ruin the room for my match stats. <laughs> the, the highlight is still continued. Connolly. Tries to find Ellis Bellamy again, but looks like Parry is there. <laughs> Sorry, I keep on moving this. I'll keep it in one place in a minute. I'll keep it down here, apparently. <laughs> Marich finds Loveridge. This highlights a long one, actually, isn't it? Hopefully, there'll be a goal at the end of it. Loveridge goes past number 13. Has a shot from there. Come on. Why are you having a shot from there, Loveridge? I'm just going to encourage them a bit, you know? Just give them a bit of encouragement. I think that's all they need. Roberts. Aldis Bellamy's there. Gets tackled. But, oh, come on, who was that? I think it was Devault with the pass up there and he's going to no one. Great. Parkinson. Loveridge intercepts. Rose is there. Can he find the ball back to Loveridge? No, he can't. He just gives it straight back to Parkinson. Tries a long shot and Khan. Can. Khan or Khan? Khan is there to pick up the ball. <sighs> I'm, I'm quite happy. March is free kick. Loveridge is there. Oh, that should have been a goal, but it's ended up in a goal kick. kick. But I'm happy. I'm slightly happy, I guess. Rose is there to Loveridge. Can he find any box? No, sh no, he can't. Rose to Loveridge. Tries a shot, and there it is. 1-0 to Paul Talbot FC. That's his first goal of the season, or of the, of the competition. First goal, his first competitive goal for Port Talbot, and the first goal of the season. <laughs> the first goal of the season for Port Talbot. For anyone as well. And that's 1-0 against Bala. We've had most of the possession. That's just brilliant, really, isn't it? Loveridge. Let's see this nice little intricate play here. Loveridge is quite tall, actually. He managed to turn around and shoot and pass it. Pass, not pass it, pass the keeper. But shoot it. Shoot the ball, pass the keeper. And that's 1-0. 1-0. What a goal. Hopefully we can keep it till half-time. Can we? And it looks like... We are going to ha into half time 1 0 up. Uh, there's no immediate changes that I would like to make, and I'm going to say calmly, I'm pleased with things, how things are going. Keep it up. And I'm going to say passionately, there's a lot more to come from you for the defence, and there's a lot more to come from you for the midfield. And I'm going to say there's a lot more to come from you from the. There's a lot more to come from you from the striker as well, because it was good, but I know they can do better, because I've seen them in pre season. Huh. <sighs> Hopefully we can get another goal. Sorry, that was me just checking the time on my iPad. Um, can. Come on. Okay, never mind. Valentine to Jones. Tries the ball over to Ellis Bellamy again. We tried a shot, but Can is there. And Tate keeps it in, so it's not a corner. I might just make a change here. Opposition instructions. Is there anything you want to change? Ellis Bellamy, I'm going to say... Closing down always. Tackling. Don't tackle them hard because we'll give away a free kick. And show. Just. Yeah. Closing down. 
Anyways, yes. <laughs> Lantham gets the ball, tries the ball over to Rose. Is he quick enough? I'm going to move that to there now. He is quick enough, but he tries to get his shot off, but it just doesn't go anywhere in the end. March to Loveridge. Loveridge to Lantham, who passes out to, to Volt. He passes to Lantham, who gets tackled, but De Volt is there. And it's a foul, actually, by De Volt, which is not good. <sighs> I might make my change on the 60th minute to see if, how things are going. Rose. Tries a long ball over to Loveridge, which is a good one. Oh, what are you trying to do? He has a shot and it gets affected, but there's a throw-in in a promising area of the pitch, but nothing happens. Anjan Maric, I'll give you to the 60th. See how you do. You're not doing that well at the moment. And Alan Tate, come on, you should be doing better than that. You're the best, one of the best players in the league. So I'll take off Maric and bring on Paul Fowler because he's a good player. Yep. And confirm, and I'm going to say calmly. Uh, show me what you got today. You got. You... <laughs> show me what you. Um, there. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, hopefully, you can change up the midfield and make us a bit more sturdy. Lantham to March. What, what a ball to Loveridge. Can he get a second goal? He does. That's 2 0. What a ball from March. And Loveridge is there just to tap it in. This series is going well so far. Isn't it? It's very good when we move up to first position. We've had lots of possession and lots of shots. Two, only two more than Bala, but and they've had more on target. Two more on target, but we've had more two more shots. And that's a lovely strike. I don't know why we're doing that camera angle, but that is a lovely shot. And that makes it 2-0 here at the... I can't remember the stadium name. The... The... Where? The Genquip Stadium? Something like that? I'll remember in a minute. Loveridge passes out to Fowler. And he does intercept it. Bellamy is there again. <sighs> Devolt, what an interception there. And it goes all the way back to Khan. And that is a great bit of defending there. <sighs> he will offset up pitch to Rose. Can he find someone? He does. He finds Lantham, who's had a good game. To March, who skips past, past Lunt. Gives it to Loveridge. Can he find his hat trick? He doesn't, sadly. But Mor as Morris is there to save them from going 3-0 down, Bala from going 3-0 down. Huh, any else, anything changes, I might bring on Gethin Hill for Martin Rose. I th yeah, I'm going to bring on him because Gethin Hill. And I'm going to say, calmly, show me what you've got today. I want to see a good display. Mm -hmm. Confirm, because I think Rose has not done the best. Oh, is that on goal? Is it a goal? No, yes, it is a Bellamy own goal, but I think Jones will try and claim that, but I don't think he, he has any right to. What happens? It, no, it just comes off Bellamy. Oh, 3-0. Shoddy defending from Bala to make to make an own goal and 3-0. Um, I'm going to make another substitute qu substitution quite soon after that. I'm going to take off March because he's looking very unfit at the moment. Loveridge, I'm going to keep on to see if he gets his hat-trick, hat but Jay... Brett Bowen is coming on, as, and I'm also going to say I want to see a good performance from you today. Or I want to, I want to see a good performance from you today. Mm -hmm. So this has been a very, very good, great start to our to our title challenge, I guess. Um, after this game, I don't see why not. <laughs> if we can beat probably a top or a European continental team that is looking to get continental places. Loveridge, Hill, oh, unlucky. Loveridge, oh, Loveridge is back offside, but that's a nice little bit of play there, and Hill nearly got himself a goal on this great of day at the... Oh, where is it? I'm going to try and find out. At the Genquip Stadium. Yes, I was right, the Genquip Stadium. Morris, are you going to take the, the goal kick? I mean, there's no point in time-wasting, really. Gethin Hill intercepts that. And it comes, and he, he actually gets it back from Parry. Tries to head it on, but there's no one there. <sighs> it's a good start, great start, really. Can couldn't ask for anything better. Oh, and that's just a crap goal kick from Morris. I mean, is that what I'm going to be seeing at this level? Devolt with a throw in to Loveridge, who's had a Loveridge, who's had a great game, and a, hopefully he has many more great games like this. Bowen to Loveridge. He can't get past. As past him as it uh, past the defender as it's the referee's bone for full time and it's three nil here at the Genquip Stadium, Port Talbot three Bala nil. What a result! And I'm going to say passionately, well done, well well played, well done lads. That was a good win for us. And say passionately, 
I'm impressed with your solid defending. I'm impressed with your clinical midfield, is it? I'm impressed with your clinical midfield, and I'm, I'm impressed with your work rate, oh, your work up front. <laughs> I couldn't ask for anything better. Loveridge got the man of the match. Loveridge, oh, Jay Loveridge, is it Jay Loveridge? James Loveridge got the man of the match there with four key passes and a rating of 9.2. Brilliant. Got two goals and Ellis Bull and we got the own goal. Alan Tate got booked, but there. Eh. And that leaves us top of the table. Joint with Airbus UK with three points as well. And the other games, yeah, Airbus, beat, you, Airbus UK beat Carmarthen 1-0 at home and Connors K beat, no, Connors K drew 0-0 to Newton at home. So that leaves us top of the table. <sighs> That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, what am I going to say? Well, I was actually going to say, if you look at our squad, we've got James, Jamie, Jamie, James. Just, just just, let that settle in. And that's what I think I shall leave you on, basically. In the next episode, I shall be playing the first match after the Welsh Premier League splits into the top, like the European qualification and the, like, the, the top league and the bottom league. And hopefully will be the top league at, by the end of the season. Which by the today's performance we most likely will be. So I'll meet you, the f I'll meet you off. No, I'll meet you for the first game after the Welsh Premier League splits, and that's it then. I've been the philosopher twenty four. This has been Port Talbot's FC, and we've just beaten Bala at home three 0 And that's me out, and I'm out.